If you're a Texas landowner and you're interested in improving the quality of the genetics on your ranch, you can contact me at DeerAndWildlifeStories.com. As a deer hunter, I want to know all I can about America's favorite big game animal. That's why I became a deer farmer. Without deer farms, we lose our greatest resource for research and whitetail management. With them, we gain more knowledge than ever before. Join me as we discover the truth about whitetails and meet those who work every day to preserve this great species for future generations. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Hey everybody, welcome to Alberta, Canada, where it is the first week of June, and today we're on the Golden Willow Elk Ranch. We'll be taking a tour of this organic elk ranch, and then we'll introduce you to the folks with Super Dog Treats. My name is Russell Gush. Uh, the name of the farm is Golden Willow Ranch, and we've been elk farming for 19 years. The Elk Ranch here, Golden Willow Ranch, is located about 100 kilometers southeast of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We have about 160 acres of land here with 120 fenced. Currently we have 160 animals, but every day that's changing because we're having new calves on the ground and we've got about 23 new calves. My husband grew up on a cattle farm and when we found this quarter, we wanted to try a different animal to raise. And the moment we saw this quarter, we decided that the elk would be perfectly suited. The elk on this farm are in large pens. They have around 40 acres per pen. There are semi-rolling hills, and they get to hide in those hills. That becomes really low stress on the animals. The calves can hide really good. OK, I want to tell you all something, folks. Uh, Russell is a chemist by trade. That's what he does. And uh, because he's a chemist, he's a really smart guy with different chemicals and how, how you yeah. make stuff up. And it's for that reason that he wound up taking and coming up with Super Dog Treats. The, the recipe in Super Dog Treats really is unique. It's a, there's not another treat on the market for, for dogs that, uh, that will do for dogs what Super Dog Treats will do for dogs. And we'll take you to the plant here in a little bit. But I want to point out this farm, if you take a look how big these pens are, how calm these animals are, that they are so healthy, this is about as organic as you can get. Yeah, we do not fertilize, we do not, not spray anything. We bring in hay from organic areas for these animals. The grain is selected properly for these animals if we use it at all. Uh, the cows range on their grass all summer and they get selectively hay all winter and same with the bulls. And you've got water out here for them and you've got trees for them. This is a wonderful facility. I mean, th these elk are the luckiest elk in the world. Look at this. We, we strive on stress management and that's one of the key ingredients to make these guys calm. Once they're calm, they perform to the level that we'd like them to be. And then you get those big antlers, you get high performing animals. Wow. I cannot believe how big your pens are and how many bulls do you have in here? We got 30 bulls in there right now going to, for velvet and hardware. Right now in this pen we have ages from 3 to 10 years old. One of the oldest bulls in this pen is Billabong. How big was he last year? He was 537 inches last year with uh, 40, 55 inches wide on the inside. And how much did his antlers weigh? The antlers weigh at, in velvet stage is 62 pounds. Okay, now 62 pounds, folks. Look at him, Billabong. All right, 62 pounds. Tell them how much the antlers are worth per pound in the velvet. Per pound in velvet, the antlers last year were $40 a pound, and 62 is around $2,400, $2,500 per bull. Okay, and so what they do out here on this farm, they're going to harvest the velvet, and uh, they're going to actually make super dog treats out of it. But uh, they harvest the velvet off these bulls, and they do this every year, and it doesn't even harm the bull. It's basically recycling the animal. It's a uh rejuvenating, it's um, um, a renewable resource. Renewable resource. Another bull we have is Tapout. 
He is nine years old right now. Okay. He cut 62 pounds two years ago, and he also grew a hard horn rack last year of 510 on his head. All right, let me ask you this. How old is the oldest cow that you have out here in this pen? The oldest cow in the pen is 16 years old. Holy smokes, and look, which one is she? She's that one right there in the pen. Holy cow. And look, she looks like a two-year-old, three-year-old. She is stress-free and she looks great. She is very good. She's really good on her feet. She holds her, her confirmation well and she weans the calf every year still. And 16 years old. And 16 years old, yes. The three things that we strive on this farm is stress management. Yes. Environment, rolling hills, proper feed. Then we have nutrition and then he has to be clean. He can't have uh, internal parasites. So every, all those three items are so key to optimize the animal to his high potential. And yeah. you've been doing this how long? 19 years. Okay, so uh, Russell is an overnight success. It took him 19 years to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I look at these bulls that are going, holy smokes. Now, now so you, after you harvest the velvet, you're gonna cut the antlers off, set them, upside down basically so the blood cannot run out of them correct freeze them yeah. and they're, they're going to be sent off for processing correct and then they're going to be turned into super dog treats and we will tell you about super dog treats later on the show and see the dog treats if you have a dog or know somebody that's got a dog that has uh, got some health issues whether it's a, a skin rash or they're uh, they're allergic to something their joint issues stomach issues yeah. any health issues whatsoever you're going to want to pay attention because later on the show we're going to tell you about super dog treats and right now what i want to do i want to head over i want to follow y'all because y'all are going to go see if there's any newborn babies on the ground and we're going to show y'all what happens to these newborns the Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds. Okay, we're going to go out and tag calves. Uh, what we do is we're going to uh, put a tag, a generic tag in the calf so we know who the mother is right away. Then we'll log that tag to the cow. And the following we get the Alberta government tags. I'm going to dip it in a solution so it's disinfected so it doesn't get infection in the ear. Oh, they're both here, actually. Oh, shoot. We'll do the close one first, which is right in front of me. I come always from behind them. Kneel down. Touch them. Wiggle them. Needle in. No squealing. Excellent. Sex the calf. It is a female. Give it some probiotics in the mouth. And I will tag it and I'll tell Joanne when <laughs> I'm tagging it. While Russell tags this calf, his wife Joanne and daughter Rochelle head out to tend to another newborn calf. And as you can see, Joanne is busy keeping the mother away using a flag. My daughter, Rochelle Gush, was born on the farm. She was born into this life. She took to it like a duck that takes to water. She, from the time she could walk, she was helping us in the barn, taking stats. She has a way with these animals. She's calm, she's willing to do anything and everything it takes to make this farm work. What I love about farming, um, it's the animals. You go out early in the morning, do chores, do all the farm work, yard work. You come in for supper at the end of the day, you still go back out, finish the day. But, and you guys are, everybody's exhausted, but then you, it's a sense of joy and fun because of it. Because, and it brings you closer as a family as well. So since all of my, like my two brothers and I were little, my dad gave us a deal with my grandpa to give us all an animal each. So 
that animal gets to grow into a bigger herd. They have calves, those calves have calves. It gives us more of an incentive to work harder on the farm, to make money out of it, to watch these animals grow. My brothers and I have little herds of our own amongst dad's big herd. And one of my heifers had troubles calving last night, so we had to bring her in. And it was a little tough. I already got the gate closed. The life of being a farmer is a lot of work, a lot of dedication. You've been dressed up to go out to go someplace, but a windstorm comes and a fence gets a tree on it. You take all your good clothes off, you put your chore clothes on, and out you go. Go, go in. So it's way down underneath there. Okay, we gotta watch. She's gonna come all the way back. If you're gonna be an elk or deer farmer, one of the things you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to realize that animal husbandry is the most important thing, taking care of the animals. And uh, not all the time things are happy on the farm. Uh, there, there, there are issues that come up that, uh, I mean, it, it, being a responsible animal owner, you gotta take care of, and right now this is not pretty. We saved the mum, but we didn't save the baby. The loss we suffered last night was particularly difficult because that was my daughter's heifer and her, the heifer's first, first offspring. And that's our daughter's future, like she's going to inherit this farm. So that's part of her hurt. So she suffered a great loss. And you know, when you suffer a loss like that, you, you go to bed and you, you lay there for hours thinking about it, thinking, could I have done anything different? Could I have fixed anything different? you know, anything to, to, to have saved that calf. If you're in Texas and interested in becoming a deer farmer, you can contact me for deer farming franchise opportunities right here in Texas at deerandwildlifestories.com. Russell is a, a really smart man. He's a chemist by trade. He's a retired chemist. Okay, he knows stuff that uh, most people don't know. He's been an elk farmer for a long, long time. And he has developed a recipe, if you will, for the super dog treats that has helped dogs all over the world. In Canada, super dog treats is not a secret. Super dog treats up here is like everybody is using it. And so what I wanted to do is come up here to Canada, learn more about his organic elk farm, and learn more about Russell and his family, and why super dog treats are helping so many different dogs all over the world. After talking to all these different dog owners and hearing testimonials from them, whether they have the dogs have allergy problems, joint problems, arthritis, stomach issues, it doesn't matter. Super dog treats have benefited not just the dogs, but the dog owners. And everybody's got a better life because of super dog treats. Super dog treat is a soft chew treat that's made for dogs that have functional problems. And the problems could be arthritic, they could be joint problems, scientifically proven to do that. Uh, we have uh, people coming back to us saying how good it is for their stomachs, their coats, their immune system. Uh, mothers that are lactating, they increases their milk production. It helps the, the pups get better, bigger, quicker. It is an amazing treat for dogs. The reason why someone would like to try this for their dog is because they have joint problems, arthritic problems, the dog can't get up on the couch, the dog can't walk around anymore, he's having stress problems in those areas. A dog that's a high performing dog that works every day with cattle or bird dogs, this is an amazing product for these animals. Super Dog Treat is a natural hypoallergenic dog treat that one of the key ingredients is elk velvet antler. The treat itself is a small chew, soft bone, comprised of 15 ingredients, and it's good for any dog. The formula for a small dog is one bone a day, all the way up to a large dog, could be five to 10 bones a day. We've had uh, confirmation from breeders, dogs all over Alberta and BC right now, coming back with testimonials uh, on a f couple of treats already that's been put out. The responses from those people are amazing. One of the things that I really was impressed about was the fact that it's so clean. When you take a look at the folks that are working the shop, they've got, uh, they've got protective headgear. I mean, it's almost like they're making food for humans. And so if you're a, a dog lover and you're concerned about, is this a quality product? I think, take a look at this video. 
it, it is it's clean like a hospital or like a restaurant. It is absolutely so clean that I couldn't believe it. And the effort that goes into making sure that the quality control is impeccable. This product is as good as it can get when it comes to dog treats. The product can be ordered through the internet, online through PayPal, or we, you can phone myself and you can order through the phone with us and we ship it anywhere around the world. The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you in part by New Dart, leading the industry in accuracy. Hey buddy boy. Hey, come here, come here. Oh yeah, come here. Okay, hi, I'm Joel Fontaine. This is my nine-year-old dog, Miko. He's a pit bull lab mix and we've been feeding him super dog treats because he gets really stiff in his back end and it's really been helping with him. Hey, go on. Oh yeah. I'm Chrissy, I'm uh, Gremlin's mom and Gremlin is a uh, Valley Bulldog. He's six years old. Um, he's pretty special. He wasn't supposed to live past one years old and like I said, he's six. So he's uh, um, extra special, I like to think anyways. Good boy. Close it. Good boy. We'll just drop that step for him. I would recommend Superdog to absolutely any dog um, who has problems with uh, energy levels, who has problems with bones and joints, to prevent issues with bones and joints. Um, and it's good. Gremlin has a million allergies and he can take it. So um, it's, it's just an all around stellar product to use. And uh, I'm here because I would swear by it to anybody. Hi, my name's Starla, and this is my dog, Atira. Um, about two years ago, her arthritis was so bad that she was jumping off my couch and her back legs gave out. And I remember phoning my mom crying because I was thinking I'd have to take her in to get put to sleep. And then my sister told me about the Super Dog Elk Velvet Treats, which she likes very much. And now she's like a puppy again. She's nine years old and she runs out and plays and swims in the dugout and chases deer. She's like a normal dog again. Hi, I'm Hope and this is my dog Stella. She is a four-year-old German Shepherd Husky mix and she used to have really bad arthritis and joint problems until we started giving her super dog treats and now she has so much more energy and no problems getting up and no problems with her joints at all. If your dog has any health problems of any kind, I 100% recommend Super Dog Treats. It was been, it's been a miracle for my dog and my whole family. She's just so much more energy and just so much more of a delight. Good boy. Good boy. My name is Angelica and this is my dog Jack. He is eight and a half years old. We started Jack on Super Dog Treats two years ago because we were trying to prevent any problems that he could have with his hips and joints. With retrievers and Bernese, they usually have hip dysplasia and lots of joint problems, and we didn't want to go through that. Um, the vets are really happy with um, any, just happy with his overall health. They've never said any problems. One of the best things about my job is coming out to farms, like the Golden Willow Elk Farm. Uh, this is an organic facility. This is a place that you see it brings a family together and people outdoors and nature. It uh, blends uh, farming, and agriculture, and, and human health and canine health too when you really think about it. The elk are magical animals. Uh, there's lots of ways that elk farmers can make a living. But the way that uh, Russell and his family are making a living out here is really unique. The super dog treats is a treat unlike any other dog treat on the market. And it's one that after listening to all these different testimonials from people from all over the place about how it's improved the health of their dogs, I can't wait to get home and try it on mine.